through all the things I've gone through in my life, I had a lot of, a lot of downs. How did I keep the faith? It was a couple of reasons. Number one, I know from living that if you quit, whatever you're trying to accomplish, if you quit, whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. If you quit, there is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed failure. Now, when you're trying, you're going to fail. But quitting, just stopping, that was the number one thing I understood. And then number two, you have to make sure that your dreams, your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. It's just not an option. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. If you want to be extraordinary and not ordinary, if you want to be ordinary, live your life. But if you want to be extraordinary, you have to be extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, that word is extraordinary. It requires an extra effort. If, now, if you don't want to do the extra effort, you finna be regular. It's nothing wrong with being regular. A lot of people are happy being regular. I just wasn't. I ain't want to be regular. I ain't want no regular life. I didn't want no regular house. I didn't want no regular car. I didn't want no regular clothes. I didn't want no regular checking account. I just didn't want it. I wanted to have an exceptional home. I wanted to have an exceptional bank account. I wanted to travel exceptional places. Now, if you don't want that, it's perfectly fine. You can be really happy being ordinary. But if something's burning in you, you got to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, you're going to be disappointed, man. See, being regular is cool. It's nothing wrong with it. You get a regular job, regular house, regular car. You get regular money. You have regular hours. You can dress regular. You can just go to the family reunion, take your ass back home. You just travel regular. You go on vacation once a year. That's cool. No problem. You can get, to get you a coach ticket. Re economy ticket, regular. You want to fly first class? You want to sit in the front of the plane? Hmm. See, let me tell you something. You know what you ought to do? Save your money and buy a first class ticket. This is how you train yourself to be successful. Save your money. Get an upgrade. Buy a first class ticket. Because when you sit in first class, you're going to understand something. The seats are wider. You get a choice of meals, chicken, beef, or fish. You get a bowl of warm nuts. They give you a hot towel to wipe your hands. Why do you think when their plane take off, they close the curtain to first class? Because they can't let these regular <laughs> people, they cannot let you see what the <laughs> is going on up there because you're going to want it back there, but you didn't pay to get it. Hey, what are they doing? They're serving warm nuts. Where's our nuts? Wait a minute. <laughs> they didn't get charged for the food. Their food was free. They didn't pay for the headsets. They're watching all the movies. Why don't we have that? Because you didn't pay for that. So they closed the curtain so they don't have to deal with your regular ass, <laughs> wondering what's going on in first class. Once you buy a first class ticket, it becomes very difficult now for you to walk past those seats because now you're going to know what's going on. So when you treat yourself first class, you are conditioning your mind to now behave 
and do the things that produce first class results. So if you ever sit in first class, you'll never, you'll coach. Coach is a little tight ass chairs. You in the middle seat. You back there by the bathroom, the chair don't recline. It's horrible. First class, big seats. That's why Dick Gregory said, whenever you can treat yourself first class, you should, because it conditions the mind. Once you fly first class, you'll never go back. Once you get a private jet, you don't even want to fly first class no more, because you're on a private jet. You ain't got to take your shoes off at the airport. They ain't open your bag. Your car pull around. They open the door. You walk up the steps. They take you right to where you're going. Then it's another car. When you walk down the steps, you don't even go. Baggage claim. They put your bag straight off the plane in the car. You don't go do none of that. <laughs> you fly private, you'll never want to fly first class again because you get conditioned. All you got to do is you can condition yourself. Once you buy a really nice dress, you don't want a cheap dress no more. You want another nice dress. Once you buy some Christian Louboutins with the red bottoms, you want all your shoes to have red bottoms on them. Because you know, men like that red on the bottom of that shoe. I don't know what it is, but when you walking away, and we see that red bottom, Telling you, man, being successful is a mental condition. You can all mentally condition yourself to being successful. All you got is your mind. You're in control of it. 